What if you woke up to a world silent? Not the quiet of the morning. A deep, profound silence. The sound of the waves gone. Because the oceans are gone. Overnight, 70% of our planet's surface is now a gaping, dry abyss. The first victims are obvious. The creatures of the sea, from the smallest plankton to the great blue whale, are gone in an instant. But their fate is just the beginning of ours. The oceans are the planet's heart, circulating heat and keeping our climate stable. Without them, the equator becomes a furnace and the poles freeze solid. The world is thrown into an extreme, unsurvivable temperature imbalance. But the real horror starts in the sky. The water cycle has collapsed. With no oceans to evaporate, there are no clouds, no rain. The world's remaining lakes, rivers, and groundwater are now all we have, a rapidly dwindling supply. Plants and trees across the continents begin to wither and die. The world turns brown. The soil, now bone dry, is picked up by savage winds, creating planet-spanning dust storms. And then the fires begin. Without moisture, forests and grasslands become tinderboxes. Continent-wide fires rage, pumping smoke and carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, choking the air and accelerating a runaway greenhouse effect. The air itself becomes unbreathable. The immense weight of the ocean water is also gone, releasing pressure on the tectonic plates beneath. The result? Unprecedented earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, reshaping the very ground we stand on. We would be trapped on a dry, burning, quaking planet, a world that has lost its lifeblood, a world that is rapidly becoming a scorching, lifeless rock, just like Mars. The oceans don't just separate our lands. They connect all life. What happens when that connection is severed? Follow to explore the fragile systems that keep our world alive.